Hey, it's you, Stanley Cohen, Server 10743. Welcome you back to The Walking Dead, Episode 3, Part 3 Broken Toys. Let's continue. The older I get, the more I see it. I don't know why. What happens then? Anyone can get bit. Doesn't matter if you're inside or outside or how careful you are. AJ, we've talked about this a lot. I didn't know what's ahead. If I get bit, you know what has to happen. I don't want to talk about this anymore. You're the one who brought it up. But you brought it up, so we're going to. Yeah, that's not how it works. It does something weird to my stomach, like I'm going to get the dookies. The what? <sighs> AJ, I need to know you remember what we talked about. What you're supposed to do if it happens. Listen to me. If I get bit, you'll... Shoot me. Shoot. No. No, I'm not gonna do that. AJ, you promised. I don't care. I'm not gonna shoot you. If you get bit, I'd want you to bite me too. What? What? You don't mean that. I want to be alone. Please don't be mad. <coughs> I can't live with you not with me, Clem. I know we've talked about it so much, but... You're stronger than this. Don't make me. Alvin Jr., you know you're not supposed to talk like this. You're too strong and too brave. I don't think I am anymore about this. Yes, you are. You are, okay? <sighs> you can't break promises, AJ. I know. You're not letting this go, are you? James said... <sighs> Guess not. That we could be around when we're monsters. Like on the inside. If you got bit and then bit me, then maybe we'd still be together. It would just be a different together. We might even be okay. We Do don't know so? that for sure. Let's say James might be right. That monsters have part of the person they were still inside them. The thing is, no one can prove that. And if we can't prove it, we're not going to risk our lives over it. True. Can I go patrol for a bit? Before the party? Sure, go ahead. Be careful. Oh boy. <coughs> that was a tense moment. What's with AJ? He just... Needs some space. Can we talk about what happened today? With Minnie? Did you tell yeah, Ten? Sure. What's wrong? The thing is, seeing Minnie, I feel like it should have scared me, but it didn't. Uh, the person we ran into in the woods, that wasn't Minnie. Not really. The way she sounded and acted. The way she <coughs> talked about Sophie and Lily. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm confused, I guess. She's one of them now. You know you can't trust her, right? She's been with those people for over a year. It sucks, but I don't know what else I expected. Minnie? The real Minnie. She's gone. She's been gone this whole time, and I have to stop mourning her. I won't let her take you or AJ. Or anyone else I care about. Okay. Lewis knows when to keep his head down. Yeah, shit. And when I, I, I hope so. I am not used to talking in these cutscenes. You know, when I first got here, I hated him. He was so much. You know, he walks into a room and it's like, Look at me! Watch me perform! It's so stupid. <laughs> but then I realized under all that, he... He really cares about people. And he doesn't just feel it. He says it. He'll tell you every goddamn day how much you mean to him. Shit, he'll probably sing about it. Wait, who are you talking about? Especially Is this Marlo? There's already a famous song with your name in it. Oh no, it's talking about Lewis. He was the music guy, right? We've got to get him back. We will. Lewis, Omar, Asim. We'll get them all back. Um, I made you this. A pin? Oh, well, a button. A clementine? 
Really? It's like a name badge. It'll look good on your jacket. It's kind of looked like it was just floating there. Token of friendship. I don't know why, but I hold on. Hey, Clem! Oh, missed it. <laughs> Damn it, I didn't think anything was going to happen. <laughs> wow. Where did you find a beach ball? It was in some garbage behind one of the dorms. I had to blow it up and that was pretty gross. But look, it works. <laughs> I should get going. Ruby could probably use some help. <coughs> okay. It's cool, right? Super cool. <laughs> Back. Wow, hyperactive kid. Bop it off his head. Oh god, I so want to do that. <laughs> I so want to bop it off his head. And the reason I'm saying that is because I've spoke before in certain videos about this certain one-year-old that I know. I tend to do that. He loves it as well. I bop a ball off his head and he just laughs his head off. <laughs> I kind of want to do it. I'm doing it. I'm sorry. I have to. It's just, it's just funny. Think fast. Ouch. <laughs> I didn't think you'd do it that hard. And no, don't worry. I don't do it that hard to a one-year-old. It's just like a light bonk off and he just laughs. It's funny. Uh, and he finds it funny. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking about that now before I sound like a I child beater upper. I love you back, kiddo. <sighs> okay, we better get ready to go. Sounds like they need us in the music room. Oh, right, yeah, okay. here we go. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention is that there's a chance we might have to pause dog's yap because people will return. My dog did just start yapping, but he stopped, so I guess I can continue. But yeah, but you know, there's a warning for that. I still say that person in the middle. Kind of reminds me of Negan for some reason. Looks like things are coming together. Yeah, we still need to figure out lighting, music, and something to write on that banner. If we're gonna die, we should have some fun first. Wow. Music? But Lewis isn't here. <coughs> See that? Um. It's like Lewis in a box. Come on, I'll show you how it works. Guess I'll choose a candle color. I don't. Wouldn't be a party without some kind of mood lighting. I'm picking- I've been going back and forth between colors for ages. Green's calming, but purple might be nice. I'm picking green, green because it's my favorite color. So, something to compliment that, maybe? Let's deck this place out in green. Ruby's favorite color. I'll make it happen. Guess I hit the right one. So you take one of those black things that look like plates, and you put it on here. And then it plays music? Pulled out the old headmaster's gramophone so he could play some records. Not much of a selection. Um. But it should do. Just tell me what you want to listen to. Classical? You guys have any classical? You bet. I'm not gonna lie, I'm no music person. So. I mean, I kinda know what jazz is, kind of, but the others? Not got a clue. Are we using the banner for some kind of party theme? Mm, not exactly. It's meant to be more motivational. I'd keep it short, though. It's not as See much See on the other side. Think. We'll get them back. AJ, want to pick? I was thinking something uplifting, like, we're gonna get through this. We're gonna get them back. Just trying to instill some confidence, you know? Straight and to the point. We're getting them back. Yeah, we sure are. Okay, we'll have Ten break out his paintbrush and ride it out. Oh, Ten, does he know about Minnie? This place is gonna look great. Oh, and Willie was asking for you. He's up in Marlin's office. He said he had a surprise <gasps> for the party, but he wanted to show it to you first. Well, that's not interesting. Hey, Clem, check it out. I found a bunch of books on ships. Okay. 
There's some awesome stuff about fires at sea and explosions and stuff. The key is the boiler. Wait, what are you talking about? I have an idea about how to stop those assholes coming back to the school after we've rescued the others. Okay. And from hurting anyone else ever again. We're gonna blow up the boat. Oh ho. It's the only way to make sure they don't come back. Besides, it feels right, you know? That could kill us all. For Mitch. I don't want to uh, discourage you, but we're going to be on that boat to rescue the others. Please, don't get us killed. What? No! I mean, yeah, I, I still have a few details to work out, but don't worry. I'll make sure there's time for you to get off the boat before she explodes. Trust me, this will work. We'll be okay. You're going to sacrifice okay, yourself, aren't you? Get ready to boat. You're going to want... To make sure they don't hurt anyone, so you're gonna end up stay behind. Clem, I'm sorry for before. About how he treated Ten. I didn't mean to get so angry. I know it's not his fault. That's nice, Willie, but don't tell me. Tell Ten. Yeah, he's the one who kinda needs to know that. <coughs> I don't know why, but I got a feeling he's gonna stay behind. He's gonna sacrifice himself. Okay. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. His face. Rose. Wow. This looks great, Ruby. Couldn't have done it without you. But just wait till you see what else I've got planned. Go ahead and mingle. I'll let you know when it's time. <laughs> okay. I know I'm being I quiet. Guess I'll mingle. I've uh, I'm being quiet a lot, but I'm just trying to listen. I see you two are working together. Yeah. Willie asked me to help with his special project. Well, that's good to hear. Is it ready? Good to go, Clem. It'll work. Actually, uh, I was thinking maybe we should name it something cool. I mean, yeah, I absolutely. All the best bombs have names. Yeah, we absolutely have to name it. I'm just. I thought you'd make fun of me, but hell yeah. Let's name this fucker Ruby's Revenge, Mitch Masterpiece. Ugh, I... How about Mitch's Masterpiece? Yeah, I like that. Mitch would have too. Okay, then it's settled. <laughs> I found them. Hello? Folders? Okay, Clementine. These here are our official Ericsson psych evaluations and probationary reports. What? Okay. Why? I don't get it. Well, these explain why all of us got sent to this school in the first place. And all the bad shit we did that kept them from sending us back home. So, what's the game? I figured if we're all going on this crazy mission together, you might as well know who we really are. So, I'll read some of what the adults thought about us. And you have to guess which one of us fits the best. Oh, God, no. I'll make sure it's someone you've actually met. This'll be the first one. While otherwise a remarkable student, blank continues to be plagued by fits of anger, uncontrollable cursing, and repeated physical altercations with the senior faculty. Oh my god. I don't know. I think it's Ruby from the way her face because... No, not Ruby, Violet. Because... Well, for one, the way how she uh, looked at them for that, and also because Ruby said that it's going to be somebody that she knows. <laughs> I'm going to say Violet, but honestly, I thought that was going to be Willie. Okay, Violet, even though I kind of want to say as well, that's all of you. Violet. That's got to be Violet. Nope, way scarier. Excuse me? That's Ruby's file. <laughs> Holy shit, really? Guilty as charged. I barely ever heard her swear. Yeah, and you should have seen Ruby back in the early days. She was like, uh, you ever seen those Tasmanian <coughs> devil cartoons when you were a kid? <laughs> that was our Ruby. He used to have a mean streak a mile long. <laughs> Don't worry. 
That was a long time ago. Wow. I mean, I can totally see it. The first time I met Ruby, she was all, that little motherfucker. <laughs> oh, right. I guess that's remember. I said I was sorry. You guys want to know why I got sent here? Willie, please. No. Chronic masturbation. What the fuck? Trust me. Nobody wanted to know that. AJ's gonna ask what that is. What does that mean? Yeah, I called that, because he... Uh, don't you dare. He's a bit young. A uh, ten! Uh, anyway, <laughs> maybe we should change up the music? I like all kinds of different music, I think. There's a lot of them. How many? I don't know. Let's try the country? Sure, we've heard enough of this. Throw some country on. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Is that really like a, Is that even a thing? You know what? I'm not saying it. You know what? If any of you want to answer that in the comment, just say yes or no. I'll know what you're talking about, okay? I not, don't you dare to give me any details. I swear to God. I didn't realize how many of us we lost. Remember that Justin guy? And Theresa and Jasper. That one girl with colored braces. And Joey. Maddie. Lamar. Wow. He knows everybody. Aaron. Yeah, I used to make fun of her braces. Why did I do that? Alex. Dewey. Trey. Stephanie. Holy crap. How many of us died? 34. Damn. Well? Whose is it? Lewis. Should we read it? I could tell you why I was sent here instead. You know, as a consolation prize or whatever. You might hate me after, but since we're all being so <sighs> open and all. <coughs> um. If you're open to share, I guess. I was hoping you'd tell me. I spent a lot of time at my grandma's house growing up. What with my dad being a drunk and my mom working three jobs. Okay. But after my grandpa died, grandma just kind of shut down. Spent all day and night rocking in her little chair in the den. Oh. I'd sit there at her feet as we both watched TV. Mostly cartoons since she never seemed to care. Sometimes I could hear her crying, but I didn't look back. I'd just feel really weird and turn up the volume. You know? Anyway, one day she left the den and came back with another oh, chair and a 22 rifle. Set the rifle butt on the top of the chair, holding the barrel back to her chest. So, you know, she had trouble reaching the trigger this way, but she must have known it would happen. Because she took out this really tacky wooden back scratcher. The real long kind with the one end shaped like a hand. Oh, God. And, uh, Use that to push the trigger in. So yeah. Bang. Right. Her body folded up and just kept rocking. Wait, so she get bl did she get blamed for that? Mom came to get me five hours later. I hadn't moved. She asked why I didn't call the police or an ambulance or anything. I just shrugged and told her it wasn't like Grandma was going anywhere and besides I just wanted to finish my cartoons wow so that mentally broke her she shipped me off to Erickson the next day I was 11 Ooh. sorry I'm so sorry Violet I can't imagine what that was like what you went through. It's fine. We've just been through a lot of shit. We weren't good people, Clementine. But it still doesn't mean that we should have been left here to die by the people that were supposed to take care of us. True. Sorry. This is supposed to be fun. I'm I'm just not the game type, like Lewis was, I guess. You mean is. We'll see him soon. Ten's right. Hey, I've got an idea. Mm. Do you guys remember when 
Minnie would sing us Don't Be Afraid when all of us used to get scared. Too bad I can't play it. Lou would have known, huh? He liked that one. Mm. You could just sing it to us, like she used to. Your voice is really pretty. Sorry if you hear like little squeaks okay. and that. That's my chair. Okay, yeah. My chair's right, squeaky. I, uh, I can do that. I try not to move too much, but it kind of hurts my back a bit to try to stay still. I'm going to stay quiet for a bit. Never mind the darkness. Never mind the storm. Never mind the blood red moon. The night will be over soon. The night will be over soon. Brush away <coughs> the sorrow. Brush away the tears. Sing away your heavy heart. The night will be over soon. The night will be over soon. For every night goes quiet. And every moon grows blue. Beyond the dark comes something new. The sun will be rising soon. The sun will be rising soon. The sun will be rising soon. Wow. Hmm? <sighs> oh. Wait. No, 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 that's not the end of the episode. I know each episode ends with a candle blowing. Why do I hear a train? Nightlight. I know I don't talk a lot during these, I mostly talk when it comes to the actual gameplay because I'm trying to focus on the story of the game. <laughs> and I know that when I watch people, I kind of like to hear the story of the game and then hear their detail. Then, oh, oh, it's it's young Clem! The heck? We got a flashback! No wonder there was a train. Lee? Oh wow, Clementine looks different. Hey, I know like higher Wait. quality graphics than that since compared to what it used to be. But Daniel. Why the train? You always pick the train. <coughs> I'm not sure. Maybe because this is where it all started. Wait, is this like her talking to Lee in her head? Where you taught me to shoot and to cut my hair. To be ready for what was coming. You were a quick study. So, what's on your mind this time? I'm worried, Lee. I've got a lot of people depending on me, and I don't know if what I'm doing is right. Wow. Oh, I know that feeling. You know, I was uh, making it all up as I went along, right? Damn. <sighs> Couldn't let on, of course. With you being so little. You sort of had to. You kind of had to think on your feet. Monsters took over the world. And you got stuck taking care of an eight-year-old girl. You were a handful. But I didn't get stuck with anything. You kept me going. 
I don't know what to say. You want to tell me about what you're up against? I'm with a new group now, and I've been in so many, and they always fall apart. I don't know why, but... I really like this one. It's <coughs> different. I know this is like an odd thing to point out. It almost feels like home. But this is supposed to be past Clementine That's thinking, a good thing. right? It's hard being alone out How there. How come my outfit looks different? Well, we're in trouble. Some bad people captured my friends, and getting them back might get the rest of us killed. Hmm. I'm not worried. What? Whatever trouble you're in, you get out of it. You get your friends out of it. You don't know that. I know you're a survivor. The Clementine I know is gonna fix it. I really believe that. You're right. I just needed to hear you. Wait say a minute. Look at the eyes. Lee's eyes look. Get my friends out of this. Don't look like pro everyone. Eyes. His eyes look alive. a little faded. Is it because? That's right. Imagine what Lewis is gonna say when he sees your face. The fuck? He said Lewis. Those boys are gonna have hope again, knowing that you came to rescue. Yeah, look at his eyes. You don't see pupils. You just see one full-on colored eye besides oh, sweet the white. Pea, you know you always get like this before. Okay, then there big. it goes. Remember how scared you Forget were it. before you charged into that mess at McCarroll Ranch? You survived that, didn't you? That was different. I was alone. I know. It's harder when you have something to lose. But having people you care about, that's a good thing. They're fighting beside you. Because of you. Come see me again, when you've gotten them out, okay? Out and safe. Jesus Christ. Sound good? And hopefully we can talk about happier things. I miss you so much. Lee, I miss you so much. I wish you were really here. I miss you too, Clementine. But we'll have to make do with pretending. Wow. Thank you, Lee. Talking to you always makes me feel a little bit better. I meant to ask, how's the boy? He's good, Lee. You'd like him. I bet. You teach him to shoot yet? <laughs> you have no idea. <laughs> this is so I random. Guess the world got pretty hard since I left it. A kid growing up in it, he'd be hard too. You're in my shoes now, raising a kid. Think you got a handle on it? Uh, it can't be easy. Um, AJ's a, a challenge. But knowing what it takes to survive now. It was easier for me since the world was just changing. But you're living in one that's changed completely. <laughs> oh my god, Lee. AJ's trouble sometimes. He wouldn't believe it. <laughs> he has no idea. He's growing up too fast. <laughs> Sounds like someone else I know. <coughs> what the? Wow. Just look Whoa. at you. This group you like. They better not live in a city. You know, I told you to avoid those. <laughs> I'm loving you know, the detail. No one goes into the cities anymore. It's an old boarding school in the woods, miles from anywhere, with no adults at all. No adults? It works, I promise. Time to go, Clementine. Got people that need you. I don't even know what to say. Goodbye, Lee.
Oh god, is that another hint that she's gonna get bit? Or actually say Clint, goodbye? Wake up. It's time to go. We got a long walk. Is that the hint as well? She's going to get bit because she said goodbye. Ugh, we're over 30 minutes as well. Okay, that's why I'm going to pause it there for this episode because we're over 30 minutes. So, I hope you've all enjoyed and damn, that was one heck of a scene there. I still swear that Clementine's outfit looks different, but it could be just because that's like in her subconscious and because she's changed back from then, but I don't know. I always look at the little details, sometimes look at like, say, how things have changed, like the backgrounds, how things are, say, like, if people's clothes will look a bit different, like, you can see all kinds of stuff. I think I look into things a bit too much, <laughs> but hey, it kind of, it's fun sometimes. Either way, hope you've all enjoyed, and I'll see you all in part four of episode three, Broken Toys. See you 